What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? This your boy, Comedic Energy, and this is Dirty Mouth Radio. Dirty Mouth Radio, season two, ear to the streets. It's your girl, Golden. It's your name. The boy, Cray. And we back. And we back. What's good? Goody mob. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Investment, stocks, money, brokerage, all that shit. Life. Studying. Life. Avoiding, avoiding, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> about you, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say COVID and his brothers and sisters, but. I was about to say, fuck straight. Don't Marion. Don't Marion. It's called, what is it called? Omicron. Omicron. <laughs> Omicron. Omicron. Oh, shit. If ain't one thing, it's another, right? Man, we've been talking about yeah. COVID since the beginning of the jump. Yeah, man. Yeah, so like wait, three, been two whole years. Yeah. Man. I'm coming a little old, don't you think? It is exactly. becoming a little old. It's a little bit redundant, but damn if it ain't. Necessary to talk about, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Not without a doubt. I just, I, I don't know. But I did see that they said it was not as bad as the uh, Delta variant. Yeah. If that helps the situation. Yeah, they don't so they fucking say. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what they I want to know. If it helps, you know. say. So these motherfuckers say. They always saying some shit. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know. Shit all At this point. Hmm. I don't know. Just keep your immunity up. Yes, I'm just surprised that's that uh, surprised that the uh, judicial system over here putting a stop on Biden's whole mandate. That's well, interesting, a halt, right? A halt, I should say. I don't know if it's a full stop, but it's a it's a halt right now. A yeah, it's a halt right but now. They but they're still trying to pushing get rid it of it. at jobs, though. You said what? I said they, it's a halt right now, but they still pushing it at people's jobs. Yeah, so it's just, like, how can you push something if they if it's at an emergency standstill right now? They, well, I heard it was two different things, though. I heard uh, big businesses, yeah, that that that's halted, and they can't they can't push. They were saying like, what if you have your business has over like fifty people that they have to get the actual vaccine, but that was was halted. Yeah, but for federal officers or federal workers and contracts, it's still it's still you know it's still in place. Yeah, that shit's still in place. But there's a um, last I heard there was a a case going to court and getting ready to go to Supreme Court that 20 states have put together to buy, to to completely go against the vaccine like as a whole the whole mandate which includes federal officers so and contractors and employees and things like that so if that gets overturned that's going to be pivotal because the Supreme Court is mainly Republican. And these, of course, right. Republican states doing this, so he might it, this this shit might just get overturned, you know. But at this point, but at this point, it's like if you already got the vaccine and you didn't want it and you felt forced by your job to get it, well, doing people are gonna be doing or oh, trying. Oh man, to do it it's gonna right. be these lawsuits about to get crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people did want the vaccine. A lot of people did it just for their livelihood of their job. They keep yeah. their job. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... That's incredible. What y'all think the ploy is behind it? You think you think it's something some system, some behind the scenes, magic magician type stuff, or y'all think it's just like straightforward, you know, bull, you know, uh put politics as usual. I think everything got a purpose. I thought uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some type of so you, other purpose. You think, you think they're trying to keep it on pause for the, for the holidays, for the Christmas whole thing rush? Because you it's about to get <laughs> stupid crazy during Christmas. Mm-hmm. It's about to be bad. Last what year do you mean? Was bad. What, what, the actual, like, Like, cases? just... 
just like the consumers, like mm -hmm. the, the lines and the purchasing, like we can't even get, <laughs> we can't even get toys into America right now because everything is just like grid. Like you still got ships in the ocean, uh, 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 shipping containers still in the ocean because of problems with China. China, we. United, United States and China had beefing like shit right now. <laughs> yeah, they are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then you got people out in the trucks coming from Mexico and all these other places and stuff. They can't get into the country. Well, they couldn't get into the country for a while because some of them didn't have the vaccination and stuff like that. And uh, they were having to fire people. And, and uh, a lot of trucking companies were trying to uh, sue the government because of those, you know, that, that mandate thing. So, like... <clears throat> We like right now inflation is going up and it's having a really, really big uh effect on the consumer right now. And I don't know where it's gonna go and how it's gonna affect us later on down the road. But you know, of course the stocks have been up and down, kind of going through their motions and stuff because of the whole Omicron thing, but everything's just kind of like real suspended right now. There's really no ground, you know what I'm saying? There's no there's no ground right now. Everything's just kind of floating in the cloud and shit, you know? From what I read, they yeah. say that inflation is kind of here to stay for a little bit. Man, what? Probably going to be here for a while. Yeah. Grocery, like, gas. Mm -hmm. it's, and, it's, and it's bad, too. Like, man, I went and to the grocery store. It's going to cost the living raise up 0.5%. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's another topic. <laughs> right. <laughs> so... It's like, you know, what do, what, do, what do the United States people do at this time? Like, with all these, like, we got we got breaks last year. We was getting a little bit of money and some checks, I guess, they were supposed to help out. But now it's like the aftermath or the fallout after, you know, all of that bullshit that it was kind of deciding for us to do, you know, it's kind of causing where we're, at, where we're at now. Like, you know, what is the average person going to do as far as, like, money is concerned as far as jobs? Like, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they extended they extended the uh, financial bill until when February or, or some shit like that. So I guess the government got a little more money to spend for right now, but they still, you know, they still was going to a shutdown or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. My biggest right. concern, my biggest concern or question is for like everybody is like, what is what are your countermeasures? Like, what are your plans? Like, how? If everything just falls apart, can you sustain a lifestyle with no, you know, granted maybe with less income or, or no income at all? <laughs> but 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 check this out. If they open back up the mandate, a lot of them little strippers and shit that was shaking their ass gonna have to get fired and shit. <laughs> if you ain't got that shot, your ass ain't no clapping no ass. They <laughs> ain't doing that at no strip club. Ah, uh, it's a business. It's a business, though. It's a business. It is. It is a business. But you gonna have to stand. We gonna have to be standing on that corner selling that. You <laughs> <laughs> don't need no shot for that. You just need some rubbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I mean. That's why you got to, like you said, stocks and just, I mean, working for yourself, you really got to sit down and think of what the people going to always need and place yourself there, honestly. And that's, you know, your goal to make a move. If, you know, everything is at a halt and you got to make a move, what, what would you do? Mm. Well, we got to come up with a plan. At this point, I, I I don't have anything to add to that. <laughs> yeah. You got any any suggestions? Any any financial suggestions or anything like that? I mean, I see at this point, invest, invest, invest. That's what yeah. I see. I mean, you can invest, but at the same time, that for me, for investments, is more so like that's the slow and steady money for me. Like you, you know, you can't just. Let me take it out right now. It really ain't probably made no money. Like, it's something which should just really pop off right now. And you're saying, yeah, I invested my money right there, but I it may not have even done anything for you. I feel you to a certain extent. But, I mean, you got day traders. They they make their money. But, you know, on the flip side of even that, you have to have the money to be able to make the money. So, right. I right. see what you mean with that. It, yeah. Yeah. 
And then know. also, too, I, mean, I hear a lot of people talk about this uh, cryptocurrency. I'm not even understanding it, but I guess... <laughs> Yeah. I just had a conversation about that. So I guess that's where it's at right now. Cryptocurrency right. is definitely where it's at right now. It's where it's Go at, ahead. but y'all gotta maybe y'all can teach the people out here like me, because I'm kind of where golden at. Like mm. I don't understand. It's like a space coin. Mm-hmm. All right, and so I'm crypto my money to it. Where break that really, joint down, the Craig. Money? Break that shit so, down, Craig. Crypt- cryptocurrency is basically a decentralized type of. Um, form of currency it's um it takes place all across the the internet and um it's basically traded okay. through you, centralized. you mean not controlled by a, a bank yes pretty much it can't necessarily be taxed per se but now they put in certain laws into place to where they're trying to get it taxed and stuff like that so but um there's a there's a lot there's a lot going on okay so they got Stable coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and these are all on uh, what they call blockchains. So basically, a blockchain is basically just like a network of just different controllers. And anytime somebody makes a transaction or some type of withdrawal, a deposit, or moves their money, everybody on that network can see that. So that that's how they accurately. Uh, can say okay this transaction happened just like a bank like a bank sees you make a deposit or withdrawal and they write it off and whatever and they confirm it or whatever so essentially blockchain blockchain is information it's basically it's a network of just Mm -hmm. it's just it's like just think of like a community of different computers that all have Mm -hmm. access to your one account and can see you make moves at the same at the same time so it's never lagging on behind you know what i'm saying um but you got stable coins and then you got other coins which people are now calling meme coins. That's not really a real thing, but they call it meme coins. And um, right alt now, coins. an altcoin. So right now, <clears throat> and a lot of people, a lot of our people don't understand what's about to happen right now as far as like the internet and the new wave and the new, um, the new introduction of life that we're entering. Right now, you have different businesses, banks, corporations, countries. Everybody is buying up these coins like fucking shit. <laughs> like, it's insane. Like, you got Tesla who are accepting all kinds of coins like Dogecoin, Bitcoin. Uh, I, I think they're accepting Shiba Inu now and different coins like that. And there's so many different coins. Okay. But the biggest thing with us is. We're so afraid of just like jumping into stuff that we don't even research and look for these different these different options of finance and stuff. These coins aren't really that expensive. Like you could buy 0.00008 or 35 worth of coins and you might put in like what twenty dollars uh comedic mm-hmm. and get like three million, two million coins. You know what I'm coins, saying? Right. So you holding on to them coins them if even if after two years or three years they making like 25 to 10 cents you got a bill in your pocket you know what i'm saying so like when you getting in like right now nobody wanted to listen about the whole bitcoin thing when it was coming up now you got all these different coins that are going crazy like people are making hand there's so many millionaires that are coming up right now just in 2021 alone just all for just like meme coins now <laughs> we transition into another space where you got these things called etfs wait, and uh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not etfs nfts uh, NFT. NFTs. it's so much shit nfts that's another big thing basically it's like an an artist form of stock so an artist comes up with an idea and they put it on whatever platform and then it, it's basically people auction them off for different prices and stuff like that. Now we're moving to another place called the metaverse. I don't know if y'all have heard of the, of Facebook transferring over to Meta. Yeah, I heard of that. The metaverse is basically a whole nother world. So people are buying properties in the metaverse. People are using well, these. Off- hold on, these- before you before you get into the metaverse, right? Mm-hmm. What you said was kind of pivotal. I don't want to skip over that. But when it comes to NFTs, NFTs are non fungible ter- tokens. Right. So you got to think of it as pretty much like a photo that is unique. 
and right. you like, buy that like a, photo, you have the rights to that photo. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's yours. It can't be duplicated. You see right. what I'm saying? So that's there, there's this key with that because there's a lot of money in NFTs right now. You even have like the NFL and the NBA getting into NFTs. You have AMC movie theater trying to get in uh, NFTs, even though they have issues with that, like legal stuff. But you have different companies that are now getting into this crypto space, into this NFT space, and now into the metaverse. It's 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 crazy. I'll give y'all one NFT that's just like metaverse. Talking about going to a metaverse. I mean, well, basically, all right. Have you ever? Has your kid ever played Roblox or anything like that? No. Okay. But I heard of it. I heard of it. It's pretty. It's basically weird. It's weird, but for the kid, it's not for us. You know what I'm saying? It's for the new generation, and we at the point where we have to invest in that because they're the ones that's gonna make us that paper. You know that Skrilla. Yeah. But it's 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 insane how drastically flat fast all of this stuff is moving and if people don't get on it now we looking at like 2025 where we just it's so many people that have just taken off ahead of us you got billion you got 12 year old millionaires and stuff like that that's coming out of this out of this this system right now you know what i'm saying but i'll give you an example of how how crazy these nfts are uh you got people uh the, the dude who made Twitter or whatever, right? His first tweet sold for roughly like, I think it was like two or three million. And that's just a tweet. Okay. You sell a tweet. Exactly. He, he turned it into an NFT. You got basketball players who are selling like their highlight reels and stuff for like millions of dollars and stuff. These guys are making bread off of this stuff. But like, my thing is, you can't just like take one person's, you know, mm-hmm. talking about it and stuff like that. You got to go do your God, people. Please go do your research because this stuff is very, very necessary for us. Like this is the time for us to like try to find a way to get this power. You know what I'm saying? And it don't take a lot of bread. Like you even you can do you can uh you can do your dollar cost. When you, you know what I'm saying? You just put a little bit in, put a little bit in until you actually get a, sh- a whole share. Like people think that you got to have a thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars. You don't need that. You know what I'm saying? I started in stock with just a hundred dollars. You move that around, try to learn as you go. You know what I'm saying? Learn enough about the stock market to where you can make some plays. And the shit. You know what I'm saying? You lose bread, but you gain bread. So it it, it can be a, b- a bit of a gamble. But once you start actually studying like these charts and you start looking at what people are saying, there's a plethora of knowledge out here, especially from black people, which a lot of people probably don't know. You know what I'm saying? You can get so much knowledge and, 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 and uh, increase your investment. So like when this shit with the government start popping off, we got a way to protect ourselves other than just saving. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Straight up. So the dollar so, uh, cost averaging pretty much is you saying, okay, and, and this is kind of like where we always like lack. Dollar cost average is pretty much, I'm going to take this $10 and I'm going to put this $10 in here every week. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just- Or every month, yeah. Yeah, yeah, however you want to do it, how you know, however repetitive you want to do it from months to weeks to days, that's what I'm going to do. And that $10 mm-hmm. or that $5 or however much that you put in there, goes towards the stock. You see what I'm saying? That's dollar cost averaging. That way, if you do it like that and you make a plan like that, you won't go broke. That's right. the main thing when it comes to crypto stocks, any of that stuff, don't put in there what you're willing to lose. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? But if you dollar, dollar cost average it, where you take this $10, that's not going to hurt you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, it's like a plethora of people like you got... Wall or Wall, people like the Wall Street Trapper, like he just a regular dude like us. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. you know he talk he like it. You know what I'm saying? But my man is knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? You got people like Larry Jones. You got people like uh, Keenan. What's his name? Keenan uh, Grace. Keenan Grace. You got you know you got um um what's the podcast man? Iron um, your Leisure. Your uh, Leisure. And Aaron it's just there's, there's so many other people out here. Terry. Uh, Terry Ilawama, I think that's her name. I forget. She's a millionaire, made 10 million last year just off of day trading. Like, 
these people are out here, you know what I'm saying? And they look just like us. And they come from where we come from. And they just know so much about this, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's really life-changing. It's hard in the beginning, but, you know, you, you take your L's, you know? It's like watching your favorite basketball team. You know, they take their L's. But if you, you know, you look at their stats and shit like that, you'd be good. So since you pretty much already talked about, you know, the researching of it. So for Sade and Golden, like, what do you feel like is the biggest hindrance? Was it the just the I mean, lack of I, the understanding? I, I, I think it's the lack of. So I'm that person that puts in money. I do put in my money because I'm like, shit, they doing it. <laughs> I better get into it. I mean, I understand that a little bit, but it's like, I feel like it's not tangible. But mm-hmm. I do have a coworker that showed me like he bought trillions of. What the Dogecoin? Maybe Dogecoin, but he had trillions when it was like really low. Mm. Yeah, put, all, put a lot of money. I think he said his total he put in was like fifteen hundred, but that was over time. Mm. But when he closed on his house, he like cashed some of that out and got his down payment for his house. Damn. So my thing was, I just felt like with this crypto, Bitcoin, all that stuff, it's just like okay. I really can't see my money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. it's the understanding and the grasping of something that's not, like you said, not tangible. It's something that's on the internet. It's just, I don't but know. But like, think of it like this too. Like no money is really tangible. Like, like physical money is just paper. Like it's really doesn't, it really doesn't have a significant, you know what I'm saying? Meaning and stuff. But, like, we've been transitioning over to this phase for a long time, even with credit cards. Like, mm-hmm. you can't see your money on a credit card. Somebody could be taking some bread out of your joint right now. You wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, like, <clears throat> basically, we at the point now where it's, like, credit cards are, like, starting to fade out. All that money, like, Bitcoin is almost pretty much worth more than gold at this point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they're saying that Bitcoin could be worth, like, a couple million, a hundred million in a couple years, you know what I'm saying? The way that the numbers is moving. So it's like, <clears throat> like, you know, this stuff is right here and it's accessible to us now. And the government doesn't have a control on it. So it's like, we got to get it while we can. You dig? Like, it's like you know, don't it's, miss the boat, you know? Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> I mean, you either, you gonna be going to sink or you're going to swim. But it's like, you ain't got to buy a whole lot. You ain't got to invest a whole lot. Just get something that you just just take one coin or two coins take two coins look at them do your research if you feel like it's something that could actually make some moves or do some make a difference that to you invest a little bit in it don't throw the whole boat at the joint you know what i'm saying but get your feet wet you know well, uh, what, and then just what let it sit there what, what, what you uh, recommend Craig? right now for me i'm going i'm at the top of my list i'm going with that shit Okay, Maybe and that's just that a, that's, she, that? she, 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 <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. I'm, 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 you already, you know, my fault. Shit, that everybody calls it shit, but it's called she, yeah. but no. it's called she, that's but the one I, you know, that's the one I follow, and I've been throwing Good. a little. Good, she because is that okay. is that is that black owned or something? No, nah, it's actually <laughs> a brand or something. Oh, that I can but Shiba Inu, it's a it's a dog. But uh, a dog. basically, that coin that coin right there was a meme coin that's actually like killing Doge right now. But it's got so much potential because it has so many utilities. And when we when I say utilities, that means like different platforms are starting to like use it for different things. Like AMC is now starting to accept or will be accepting Shiba Inu coins. I think next week or something like okay. that. Word. Um, you got, you got Tesla. You can make payments on your car with Shiba Inu coins and, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, this is not a Shiba do, do me. <laughs> but like, I need to check in that. Uh, and you know, uh, so that's one of my joints at the top. Uh, Cardano is another one. Um, I would say uh, uh, invest in Bitcoin, even if it's just like if you at the bottom, like get something. That you know what I'm saying? Right now, in that shit, I got like maybe I want to say like fifty dollars in Bitcoin right now. Um, 
But like as that as those fractions as the share grows, the fractions grow too. You know what I'm saying? So that takes your money up. Ethereum is another one. Get into that shit. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know about Ethereum Classic. Eh, you know, Solana. Oh, yeah, I think it Solana is a good one. Uh, uh, and um, all these di- all these coins. Is, the crazy thing is, people think these coins are just worthless, but the, each coin does has a specific thing that it does. You know what I'm saying? Like Solano, Cardano, I can't is exactly tell you exactly what they do, but they all have specific things that they do as far as like the blockchain. And, um, uh, some of these platforms actually teach you what these coins do. Um, X- XRP, that's another good one. Um, if you can get into that, um, uh, I'm going to say this one Safe Moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard about that one way back when. Uh, I didn't get it. It's not a lot of buzz going on about the joint, but it's low as shit right now. You can get tons of it, so maybe in ten, five years, it'd be worth, you know, you know, I don't know. Well, safe moon. So I don't got time for fifty what? years. But that's the thing. Shit. That's the thing. You got time for ten years. You gonna be what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ask you a when that shit hit and you sitting there like, damn, I wanna. Oh shit, I got twenty million dollars. Like, you then what? Well, <laughs> you know? Okay, so let me ask you something. Okay, remember this story was huge where the guy had so much Bitcoin, but he lost his password or something. He couldn't get the money. Mm-hmm. Explain to me. He so both, all right, pretty, oh, go you, ahead. You me that one? So pretty much the guy had it on a ledger. So a ledger is matter of fact, I got a ledger right here. So a ledger is pretty much a key piece of hardware, right? I don't know if you can see that. It's like this, right? Uh-huh. So now had, I got to buy it from them. So that's like a. It looked like a thumb drive, but yeah, it's not. It, it is. It technically is a thumb drive. So he pretty much had it all on here, and it's probably the safest way to keep it. You see what I'm saying? So it's, he took it off all the apps and he literally put it on there. Now it's tangible, so to speak. What he did with these ledgers, they come with passwords from ranging from five to 20 passwords. If you lose the passwords to that, you can call it quits because there's no way you oh, can get those passwords no. back. Hell but you no. got to think about it like this. But, but Sade, I'm bad with passwords. This is the thing, though. That is the most safest thing you can ever do. You see what I'm saying? So that's when it's up to you to to yeah. keep that because it, it comes, that it comes a with a little box, yeah, yeah it comes with a little paper that gives you all the passwords and to verify and when you set that thing up it's going to ask you for every single password that's on there to get it started so what do you do with that piece of paper no 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 listen to me this is just when you this is just when you set it up after it's set up you're good you feel what I'm saying you probably only have to put in your only password the one that you create yourself. To get in and out of that transaction. So I gotta put a password in to get my money, is what you tell me. That's what you no, mean, no, it's not. It, well, it's not. Well, it's. Yo, I'm number for your debit card. Well, the password well, is just. But some people barely know that. I mean, y'all yeah, better get to remembering <laughs> out here. What the fuck? It's shit. money. You know shit. <laughs> yo, it's, it is money, <laughs> but like. With the password is specifically just for like if some shit happens, some shit go down, and you know you need to confirm or like deny some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I mean, as far as like getting in and out, of, I mean, I don't, I don't have a ledger yet, so that's one thing I'm working on. But <clears throat> now, how as much far- are these ledgers? Uh, the one I paid for was like one twenty. I don't know. So I they, paid for that rain. like two years ago, so I don't know what it's looking like now. But it's, yeah, it's like it's pretty uh, much like a digital wallet, pretty much. It almost is. Kinda. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. And I gotta pay for that, God. Dog. You don't have to. That's what I'm saying. If you wanted to, 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 you know, to protect it from anything happening, that'd be your best bet. But a lot of these apps have their own wallets, like Coinbase. Right. Coinbase has its own wallet. Even further than that, you have Coinbase and you have Coinbase Pro. And you have mm-hmm. a Coinbase wallet. So those three different places that you could put your coin. But the safest place is to take it off your phone and put it in something that you could put in your pocket. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Now something with that, that nobody dude, can touch. Yeah, that dude had it on a hard drive. So if I got um, tight hands, it's not going to fit in my pocket. Well, you put it in a huh? safe. <laughs> put it in a safe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you took that thing out and it's dead. Like this, a ledger. Yeah. It's like a zip drive. It's like a zip drive. I mean, you know. Okay, so all right, so you got that. 
now I'm ready to go to AMC to the movies. I pull that out and stick it in the machine. No. <laughs> so I can pay for <laughs> Well, they haven't they haven't finalized oh all of how they're going to utilize this the shit at AMC yet. So we don't know how. Oh, I, I just used that as an example. That was just an example. So if I want to pay for something with the money that's on there, do I need to do that or I do it digitally, um, like well, online? It'd probably be digitally. They, most yeah, they got different platforms yeah. that allow it. Like I know Cash App is starting to allow people to pay people with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, and stuff. I, I did see that in my Cash. App. So <laughs> it's different platforms that you can that you can get different tools. But like right now, it's the game is changing. Like the dollar is not about to be worth shit. And you know, in a while, like uh, as y'all can see, like a hundred dollars is like a do- like a hundred dollars is like one dollar now. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is a hundred dollars. You go try to get a hamburger, it's like a hundred dollars. Like you're like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? You know what I'm saying? But we living in Costco times now. The whole yo, world is Costco out here. Nothing under right. ten dollars, so, man. Yeah. So like right <laughs> now, like with these yeah, with these other coins and stuff. Like these rich folks, like they not using, a, you know, they not using that type of money and stuff to, to to make these payments and stuff like that. Like the game is changing, like you know. So every it's, it's just good that every everybody should get in now before like retailers actually start like being like, oh shit, you know, the crowd starts to get in. Once the crowd get in, it's it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can pretty much hang it up. It's gonna be costing you an ass load of money to try to get into some of these coins. Like, I mean, a third. You got coins that just came out like two years ago. That's already pretty much in the thousands. You know what I'm saying? Like Ethereum. That joint was just at early this year. Was like how much was that joint? A thousand? thousand it's right like at four thousand right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm confused about. All right, I'm using U.S. dollars to purchase coins correct mm-hmm. yeah correct so how would they eliminate the dollar if i have to purchase it with money well, we're just talking about over time yeah it's i not mean like i mean dollar gonna be there it's just it's every time they print money the dollar becomes more and more worthless so okay this is this is a perfect thing because you got people that ask the question how do do how do coins you know, go up in value. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like how the dollar would decrease, a coin would increase. So just like how Cray said um, with Ethereum being $1,000 and now it's $4,000. When it comes to the dollar, the more they print the dollar, the, the worthless it is, right? So what they do with crypto, they burn coins. So they eliminate them. The more you eliminate the coins... The more and more scarce the coins become, the more and more rare the cryptocurrency actually is. All of them which, do that. Which drives up the price. Exactly. And that's what makes it more and more rare. It makes it more and more expensive. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of how it works. Okay. <laughs> sounds like sounds like peanuts to me, but okay. I mean <laughs> It's I mean, it's not really she's saying so like it's like now it's like now it's like a um um like um a jewel like an emerald or a diamond or something right 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 it's like gold but, like yeah. it's, it was you know you got to pretty much mine for gold and try to find gold that's that's pretty much what you're doing with these coins like <clears throat> the more gold they melt the less it becomes you know available and you know the price goes up in value because it's you know so many people want it you know what i'm saying so yeah. It's the same thing. But with you this. don't know which coin to go with. Like, so, if you don't, I mean, I, I'm in a few, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, the thing about it, <clears throat> you just got to do your due diligence on the coins. There's a um, there's a YouTuber that I kind of listen to. His name, um, he actually doesn't, it's not him, but it's called Crypto White Papers. So the person who does that actually breaks down different coins all the way down to the most minute level as to what they're doing now, what they're going to do in the future, what they're here for. Crypto white papers, you can look them up. I actually looked at them for a particular coin that I do recommend. And I put this disclaimer out there, like they, like the raw tree trapping all the motherfuckers that we ain't no advisors. So 
you know, you take this shit with a grain of salt. But there's a coin called Polygon. And oh yeah, if Polygon. You, up in, yeah, yeah. If, if you look on the uh, actual app, it's um, you type in M A T C M A T I C Matic, and you'll see Polygon. That coin right there is playing a pivotal role with the metaverse and Facebook and Mana, Mana. Don't forget Ma- that. One. Yeah, Mana as well. But with Matic, I actually went to um, Crypto White Papers on YouTube, and he actually broke that down. Once he broke it down to me, I said, yeah, this is something I'm going to have to invest in. I'm going to have to dollar cross average into this coin. I bought that coin by mistake, um, I want to say, four months ago because I thought I was getting what Cray said, mana. I, I fucked up. But I kept the coin. And at that time, I had bought like 30 coins of it. It was really cheap. Now I've made four times the amount of what I put in there by setting it and forgetting it. I just happened to look at it and say, well, goddamn, I didn't quadruple my value. It's like $2.44 right now. So it's just something that you got to, you know, do your research. When you, if you get the Coinbase app and you see these different coins, just take the name of the coin and put it in YouTube. Somebody's mm-hmm. talking about it. Somebody's talking about that. Yeah, yeah. somebody's going to talk about that coin. And just listen to what they're saying. That's how you get all the information on that particular yeah. coin. And you make that choice if you want to do it or not. A lot right. of them are already going to show you what it's doing on the crypto market. How it's going up, how it's going down, where is it going to bottom out, the the levels and all that shit. They're going to do all that for you. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's kind of yeah. how you do it. I got in it. Yeah. I got in it a while ago. The whole cryptocurrency stuff, I got into it two years ago. And shout out to Kai. Kai was the one that really showed me how to actually do some of this stuff. And he gave me some examples of some good coins that he recommended that he personally invested in. And after that, I said, you know what? This is something that is going to catch fire and I need to be a part of this. And I invested in SafeMoon early and I got a nice return from it. So I just keep going. And I, I recommend it to everybody else. Huh? Are you still in safe yeah, yeah, I'm still in safe mode. <laughs> uh, I ain't getting out of that. Yeah, that, joint, that joint pretty cheap right now. So mm-hmm. I could see him riding it out for a while. Damn right. I'm, Cryptos go all the way up and they can come all the way down, but they'll just go right back up again, just like a stock would. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, I'm like, like, like Kometi said, we ain't. No financial advisors. We just trying to put y'all on game. Like, keep your ears to the streets. Like, this is the stuff that's moving right now. Yeah. NFTs, ETFs, crypto, uh, Apple, uh, Tesla, stocks. You know, look at that type of stuff, man. Because people are making shifts. Like, and, and the shit, it follows the news. Like, any like shit that you're hearing on the news, it has an, it has an effect on the stock market. And, mm-hmm. and the stock market has an effect on the cryptocurrency. You know, there uh, so we enter into a new world. It's called the metaverse, and it's just it's it's going up right now, man. And I will say, right now is the perfect time to invest in crypto because everything is down. Yeah. Everything is down a lot. Yeah. So this is like the, the perfect time. Yeah. Anytime you see red on the stock market or the crypto market, that's when you load up. Yeah. That's like well, it's being on sale. Depending on what it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, but you know, <laughs> depending on what it is, because some of them joints you're gonna be in that joint for a long ass time. Like that, and the- that that's what depends on you. Do you want to? That's another thing I, I recommend right now. When you pick the coin, you need to figure out. Okay, is this something I want to be in here long term, or is this something I want to do short term? If I want it, you know, once it bounced back up, I can sell it and I can get my profit. That's up to you to do. You know, to want to do or or not. You know, yeah. Some of these coins, I just do short term. Some of these, I'm riding that motherfucker out. Yeah. You know it's 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 a lot. It's it is a lot of information. Like you got day trading, swing trading, long term. It's it's a lot of different terminologies. But it's people out here making night like trading, like day trading. Day yeah, <laughs> day trading is they <laughs> day trading is they full time. Like they making income every day. Like yeah, like, yeah. you gotta you got. Uh, uh, Terry, she's she's teaching people how to make a million, oh, not a million, a thousand dollars a day day trading. You know, people oh, wow. are teaching these classes, like, and you can find her on YouTube. Um, I'll give y'all the name in a little bit, but uh, these people you can find on YouTube, the YouTube is going crazy right now with this investment stuff. Yeah, 
Well, that was a good segment for the people. Yeah, man. That's that's all Cray. Cray in the stock market, man. Crypto. Terry, yeah, Terry E. Is... If y'all yeah, can if y'all can at some point in time look at this young millionaire. Uh she's been in the game for about I don't want to say like 10 years, but her name is uh Terry Iyom Iyome. It's T E R I and her last name is I J E O M A. Uh, basically she's yo know, she's a she's a former teacher. The girl got stats and all of that shit. The girl is on her on her job and she's on her game. She's doing her thing right now. She's got the stock market on lock. Like I said, she's made recorded 10 million last year just in day trading. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And that's not that's not in that's not recording the other millions of dollars that she's made in her other things. She just bought a house, a mansion out here. She just bought a mansion on an island out in Puerto Rico or something like that. She talks yeah. about it's a forty million dollar home, dog. That sound like my lifestyle. Gary, <coughs> where you at? Yeah. And uh she's a sister. She's a sister. She's teaching all kinds of people. She's talking to all kinds of people. Uh you know, I won't be surprised if Ernie Leisure picks her up and tries to talk to her at some point in time. But the girl is out here making it work. So check that lady out, man. She's I'm about to I might get in her class. Her class is like two thousand. I think it's like twenty five hundred. Damn. But you gotta understand, a lot of but these classes is like yourself, some yeah. of these classes That's is true. like thirty thousand dollars. When she was getting in eight, the classes was like thirty thousand dollars. You know, so. Yeah. She kind of discounting. Hopefully, give... hopefully he learned something out of it. But oh yeah, I'm about to make a thousand dollars a day. I'm with that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel yeah. you on that one, man. Anybody got but, uh, anything else? What's up? No, I'm um, starting to last in the information. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot because yeah. I really do feel like. You know, a lot of people, more so people talking about it. Like I, like I just said, I just don't like that it's not tangible. But a lot of people, mm-hmm. and I feel like the way of the world will go that way. Mm-hmm. Actually, was Styles P was talking about it today. The mm-hmm. coins and the virtual world and all that stuff. So, but. The world, the world changing change right now. Like right now, I can tell you, I was talking to somebody and, um from uh he's he's from Africa some part of Africa he was talking about how over there right now some of these american companies or people like <clears throat> uh windows or whoever fuck uh, these motherfuckers bill gates and shit they working on trying to get all your information in your hand you know what i'm saying so like what? it's like a chip that they or That's something it. that they put in their hand and people can call you in your hand and you can actually touch oh, the button. Fuck all that. Ugh. They working on stuff like that. So that's where we that's where we transitioning. And you know right now the game is uh monopolized by Apple and Android as far as like that type of stuff, you know, phones and stuff like that. So I mean, it ain't no stopping it. Yeah. So if you, you know, you can't beat them, you might as well not join them but buy them shit. Okay. <laughs> That's some real <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, I'm I ain't not, gonna I'm, flex. I invested in uh, Pfizer on the stock market. Oh, if you're not so gonna get the shot, came you can, I ain't you for might, the I shot, still, but I am for the bread that's gonna come hey, through. Mm? I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you just like this. The shot, I ain't get the shot, but I got the shot. <laughs> <laughs> you feel yeah, what I'm saying? So bullshit. y'all. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push getting the shot. Go ahead, and get that junk. Get the Pfizer. Get the Moderna. Get the uh, what was it, the fucking <laughs> Johnson the Johnson. Get the other joint. You know, do what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be sitting back. You know that Pfizer was going crazy for a little bit. So that's yeah, man. It was. But I'm not no financial advisor. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. So you put your neck out there, man. That's you. But yeah. I gotta play. I gotta keep my ear to the streets. Thirty Mouth Radio season two. Keep your ear to the street. Ear to the streets. <laughs> We're trying to help people make moves because the game is getting crazy right now. It's getting savage. It's Bullshit. getting savage. Oh, I got one thing, man. I'm gonna tell you how savage the game is getting right now. Literally at two, three o'clock in the morning, the other day, I was leaving out of my neighborhood, driving on my way to work. It was a train 
just stopped the whole street. I look over to my left because I'm about to make a U-turn. What did I see? A big-ass F-150 with a train around an ATM. Two trucks, three guys hop out, yank the ATM off of the uh, installment, got the bags, hoods on, just taking what they can get. I'm looking back like, Are you how- serious? Because I'm trying to get something to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, that game is that crazy. So I'm they, like, let me let me get this straight. They ripped the joint off the ground and popped they, it open. Yo, they backed that truck up. They they put the chain around the ATM and looked at it. it was like, okay, we good. My man hit that gas. That shit said, "Woo!" I was like, oh my god, that sh- it was so loud. But it was covered by the chain. Nobody, I mean, by the train. Nobody knew what was going on. It's pitch Them black. It's time that shit. Oh, oh my god! They had the game on lock, and then they left the truck in the street, jumped in the SUV, and hauled. They was gone. Damn. I was like, it was no money nowhere. I was like, this is crazy. That was that was some selfish ass shit. <laughs> you went over there to see. <laughs> <laughs> and I, drove, I ain't gonna say I went over there. Ain't no feds gonna be looking for me. I don't know what the fuck happened. I just seen some shit. I thought I saw this. It Allegedly. might not have been real. Yeah. But, you know, when I went over there, I thought I was going to see some thin money that I could report to the feds, but I didn't. Because if I did, I would have grabbed, I wouldn't have touched it. I would have just, you know, recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 re- and report it. You know, I would have reported it to the proper channels. In, you know, what? someone's favor. I don't know. Because he's a good Samaritan. There you I'm, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Samaritan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that is some savage ass shit. Yo, man. That was the realest thing. It would look like some straight up barbershop types. I had never seen yeah, that. Yeah, I was about to say, that like, reminded me of that clip from Barbershop. Damn. Right. That's how, be something, yeah. Yo, that's how crazy the game is right now. Like, I don't know. People probably have seen that before. I don't know. But for me to see that is I've seen people get robbed. I've seen people be held up at gunpoint. I, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. my grandmother got held up at an ATM one time. I watched mm-hmm. that when I was a child. Mm-hmm. But Aww. Aww. Really, yeah, that was crazy. That's DC streets for you. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, wow. whatever. Whatever. But why do? Ain't that some crazy shit? Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> it's not crazy. <laughs> anyway. But uh to see a uh, ATM get yanked off of the installment? Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Damn, that is wild. I wonder is that, I wonder is it alarms on it. Yeah, I think. I, I don't I, I think something. Uh, it probably is now. <laughs> shit. I know they got like I think the money is like inside of some type of lockbox, so you gotta take that with you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about yeah, no banks. Right. I just saw what I saw. Oh, I thought I saw what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it might not have been real. Maybe I was seeing things. Maybe I was watching a movie. I mean, you was you was tired. It was yeah. early in the morning. It was you all was tired. dream. It was all dream. Yeah. I was, was tired. He was watching the Italian job before he went to sleep. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was delusional. <laughs> oh. But it's getting crazy. So y'all be careful out there and uh invest in protection as well, man. Like invest in protecting your, your yeah. homes and your children and your money. Yeah, it's so many women I be saying that he getting attacked. And it's some men be following them and Oh. And hey, what's up with all of the scamming lately? Like that shit, it's like it's like a cool, it's like cool now to be a scammer. I don't yeah. understand that shit at all. That's I don't just think it's it cool a while back, but I don't think it's as cool now because they mm-hmm. asked all every time I see a scammer, then they got caught getting locked up. <laughs> yeah. Not these scammers out yeah. here. Uh, stuff he was getting all them um. Was them business loans when um for the uh, Corona Valley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. And all that. Not these scammers out here in Chicago, Miami, and all these scammers I'm hearing. Like, yeah, man, you got he probably he probably a scammer. He got all this, man. They making they making cash. They making racks. They scamming gift cards, yo. Yeah, that's yeah, that's some shit. That's, that's, that's been happening for years, man. I like that. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck you do that. 
gift card. People got my number and stuff hitting me up. Like, is this Justin Hendricks? Like, they sound so official. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's insane, man. But y'all be, everybody be careful, man. Yeah. Yep. Hey, well, this was a good one, man. This was another banger. Banger, banger, banger. With that being said, this is your boy, Comedic Energy. Your girl, Golden. Charday. Your boy, Cray Noop. And keep your ears to the streets. Let us know what's going on so we can make these moves with y'all. We're not trying to be left behind. No man left behind, man. We out here all trying to make it at the same time. Season 2, Dirty Mouth Radio. Let's get it. Keep your ears to the streets, y'all. This is produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. Have a nice night. This show is produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. If you're looking to rent premium sound equipment for your next concert or podcast at a low price, go to www.livewiresoundent.com. Dirty Mouth Radio.